What's up everybody, Flying Scorpion here with Solaris modding video tutorial number nine, scopes. I probably should have covered scopes in a previous video, uh, but we'll talk about it now. Uh, they are important and you need to understand them when you're uh, doing event modding. So you've probably figured out by now that you can't change the size of a planet while you're scoped to a country, for example or you can't give technology to a country while you're scoped to a planet or to a pop or whatever. Um, you need to be scoped to whatever it is that you're trying to run a query on or check to see if something is true or not, or to run an effect on, to do something on. You need to be scoped to the proper thing. Again, I recommend that you check out the Paradox Wiki page on scopes, and if you scroll down, you'll see a list of scopes, for example, you can be scoped to a country or a sector or a megastructure or a planet, a tile, an army, a pop, a species, and so on and so forth. And if you scroll further down, you can see ways that you can move around these scopes. So let's say, for example, you're scoped to a planet and you're checking to see if a planet has, or sorry, let's say you're scoped to a pop and you're checking to see that the pop has a specific trait on it. And if it does, then you're going to give the country that that pop belongs to a specific technology, for example. Well, here's how you would do that. You can see that you can scope to the owner, which is a country, from a fleet, a ship, a planet, a pop, leader, army, megastructure, sector, or starbase. And uh, it says in, this, in the description here, scopes to the country that owns the object. So the way that you would do that is if you are currently scoped to a pop or a planet or whatever, you would type in owner equal sign bracket and then whatever effects you want to run and then you close the bracket off and then you would what we would do is when you would be going into the country scope the owner of that object and then after the close bracket sign you go back to the the scope you were on before which in that case would have been the pop uh, so we'll actually do an example right here. Let's say, for example, we want to increase the size of our planet to 20 or change the size of our planet to 20. Uh, we are currently scoped to a country. How do we get scoped to a planet? Well, there's a couple ways that you can do that. Let's go to owned planet. <clears throat> and we have this option, any owned planet checks if any of the country's owned planets meets the specific criteria. And it, you scope that from the country. Well, that doesn't sound quite like what we're trying to do. And if you scroll up to the top of this list, you will see this is a flat list of trigger scopes. Trigger scopes are meant to check and see if something is true. And we're not trying to check and see if something is true on the planet. We're trying to actually create an effect on the planet. We're trying to change the planet size to 20. So if I search down again, I will see a new list here, flat list of effect scopes. So this is where this is how we scope to something and run an effect on it. And instead of any owned planet, we see random owned planet or every owned planet executes enclosed effects on a planet owned by the scoped country that meets the limit criteria. So if while we're on a country, so from scope, from the country scope, we type in random owned planet and then we'll have our effect go. So let's go ahead and do it now. So in the immediate section of our thing, I'm gonna actually just move that down because I would like that down there. In the immediate section, we're going to type in random owned planet equal sign bracket, and then the effect. Uh, is, is it set planet size? Set planet size equals 20. And there you go, we don't see any errors and what, would, what this would do is at the start of the game, it would give our empire, every empire really, the technology to build habitats and it would set their first planet to a size of 20. Uh, hopefully this is enough information to get you started on learning how scopes work. I recommend reading the wiki page again. Uh, if this was helpful for you, please hit that like button. And thanks for watching. I'm Flying Scorpion and I will see you in the next one. Bye.